Hey guys, Tactical Diesel Dad. So, uh, my 5 inch uh, exhaust system is amazing. Um, it's got really low tones to it. Uh, I like it. I love hearing the turbo, especially when the turbo spools up when you're accelerating underneath the bridge. Uh, the problem is, um, at highway speeds, uh, towing a heavy load, it uh, has a drone that rumbles your eardrums. It is horrible. Um, it's pretty bad. In fact, uh, my wife hates even getting in my truck because the drone is so bad. And it's not even at highway speeds. It's just in general, uh, you know, fourth gear and uh, or under load um, when you're trying to, to shift gears. Um, that It's just, it's bad. So uh, what I did is I ordered this uh, MBRP uh, stainless steel uh, straight through exhaust. So it's a, it's a five inch exhaust. It's not going to restrict the airflow, um, but it should provide a little bit, a uh, little bit less drone. Um, at least that's what they say. So we're going to put it on and see what happens because I'm kind of tired of not being able to hear the radio um, or when you're on the phone with somebody and you're towing a trailer. Uh, you've got to turn your volume all the way up, and even then you can barely hear what's being said on the phone. So, uh, inside, let me switch this around. Inside the uh, exhaust, you can see it's straight through. Um, it's got these little baffles in here, and so there's no instructions. And I'm going to assume, so this side, these baffles, um, they just look like bumps over here. Um, Kind of like a neoprene mattress or something on the other side you can see that each one of these uh, has a little inlet so i'm going to assume that the flow should enter through here and go that way but there is no um, arrows or or any flow direction um, on the outside of this so i'm just going to make an educated guess and uh, uh, install it with the flow going that way so on the reviews, uh, I did notice that a few people complained um, that they only got a couple of seasons out of it. Uh, they live up north where there's a lot of salt uh, used on de-icing procedures on the roads. Um, and that the, the muffler rusted out. Now this is, uh, I forgot, it's like 0421 stainless or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but it is the stainless version. There is a non-stainless version you can buy, but it's, why, why not spend an extra 50 bucks and upgrade to the stainless um one issue i see right off the bat is that the welds right here uh i'm not a metal expert but i i really wish they would coat this um i might go ahead and spray this with like a ceramic uh ceramic spray once it's installed um like a ceramic exhaust spray um i i would assume that it would adhere to uh the stainless um, to at least cover that up because I really don't want to see a bunch of rust on my exhaust. So that's one thing I noticed off the bat, but it's not going to prevent me from installing it. So um, I did go ahead and, and put WD-40 on these bolts. They're 14 millimeter. Um, so from, uh, from here to here is uh, 30 inches. Um, the exhaust uh, in my... In, BRP or whatever the name of the exhaust is. It says it's 31 inches, uh, but I I have um, some movement on the hangers, the rubber bushings. Uh, I can move them further further down towards the end of the truck, so I should be okay. I'm going to uh, um, take these bolts off, take this section out, and then we'll try to get this thing installed correctly. Using my half inch impact. And again, I lubricated the uh, the bolts. Well, that came off nice and easy. And it's just a band clamp. That slips off nice and easy. I'll do the other side and then I'll try to uh, wiggle it free. So I am getting a lot of movement in the uh, with the hangers, which is good. Um, 
this section doesn't want to come out. There's a lot of soot that's kind of caked up right here, as you can see. So I'm using it as a, a rubber mallet. And I'm slowly making progress, kind of knocking this thing back. It's got about four inches um, that actually has movement. Got about four inches to knock it off. So I'll play again once my struggles are over. All right, so a lot of banging, a lot of wiggling. Uh, finally broke this loose, and uh, as you can see at the hanger, there's plenty of movement. It, I, I put WD-40 on there to uh, help it slide a little bit easier. So uh, I'm gonna get the other piece, and let's hopefully it fits. All right, so I went ahead and took some uh, Rust-Oleum high temp uh, exhaust spray and just coated the uh, the the welds. Um, they were already rusting, and I do it. I don't care what this looks like. You can see it right there. Um, that's not done out of the touch yet, but I'm going to have that part up. That's the second coat right there. Uh, it says to wait about 30 minutes before your second coat, but it dries pretty fast to the touch. So uh, I went ahead and just did my second coat within a few minutes. Um, and then uh, I just rather prevent rust now than wait till it starts to rust out before trying to address the issue. So again, I've got those baffles, the openings facing towards the engine. And hopefully we can install this thing relatively easily. That's sliding on. That's a good thing. Oh yeah, that's sliding on pretty good. All right, let's get, let's see. Here's the other piece. Well, I had more moving a second ago. There we go. Oh, well, my rear hanger just fell off, but I'll address that in a minute. Once I'm, once I'm done struggling, I'll replay. All right. I uh, ended up using a strap um, on the back end to hold the exhaust up because the uh, the hanger came off because it was super slick with that WD-40 on there. Maybe it was a bad idea, but last when I took the, the stock exhaust off to put this 5-inch exhaust on, and that rubber was staying on the hanger so so tough that it, you couldn't move it. Um, that's, that's why I lubricated it. So anyway, that stuff should um, it'll burn off the exhaust, but uh, eventually kind of dry it a little bit. I might go through and wipe it with a paper towel or something. But anyway, you can see I ended up having to uh, tap out these uh, um, tabs here. Tapped them out just a little bit to allow for this to go ahead and slide all the way on the uh, on the, the rear part of the exhaust. Um, and then uh, once I tighten that down, I'm going to uh, push this. I got a little bit of movement. I'm going to uh, push this back to where this is slid over here. You can see where the uh, uh, the strap uh, clamp bolt, or I can't, can't even think right now, the, uh, the exhaust clamp uh, fits over both these sections right here. So I'll uh, strap this up and then we'll fire it up and see what happens. Other side's on. I went ahead and switched over to my 3 8 drive because that half inch was way overkill. I didn't want to end up breaking something. It is on there nice and snug. Hangers look good. The, the hangers allowed movement uh, to where this 31 inch fit and I thought I only had 30 inches of space. So, all right, I'm gonna get up from underneath the truck and fire it up.
Well, there we go, guys. Hope this uh, video helped you out a little bit. Um, if you're thinking about installing a uh, muffler, um, again, hated to do it, but that drone is not worth it. It, it just sucks. Uh, I want to say this is about $205 uh, with shipping. Found it cheaper on Amazon <clears throat> and, and got free shipping on Communist Amazon Prime. Um, so uh, anyway, like and subscribe uh, if you uh, like this video, and I appreciate you guys watching.